All right, Nate, let's go. Time for the show. Yeah. To start him out, it's ball one. Nine toward the alley in left center. And it's a base hit. And just like that, the potential time run is aboard here to start the home half of the ninth. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things Number jump five. out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line. And you so this week, you and I jumped into MLB The Show 19, obviously from Sony. Yes. Sony San Diego Studios. These guys make this game each and every single year. And it kind of makes you wonder, how much can they iterate? on a baseball game when you only have a nine month cycle. And I gotta be honest, this year, there's a lot of new things in this, and this is awesome. That's pretty cool. So this is actually, embarrassingly enough, my first MLB The Show game. I'm a veteran. And probably my first baseball game since Nintendo 64. Okay, and this is kind of <laughs> why we did this, right? Because I play this each and every single year, and you are a newcomer to the series, so I wanted to see how your opinion was when you jumped into MLB The Show. So what did you think of this coming from a 64 day into now where your graphics are really at a whole other level. You're talking about MLB The Show where your character looks incredible. The sound, the lighting, everything is so well polished in this game. So what do you think of coming back from an N64 day now into the latest and greatest of MLB The Show on a PlayStation 4? So it's definitely come a long way, we'll say. Oh. And I really struggled, so I'm definitely a noob because I haven't played a baseball game in forever. Yeah. So the swinging mechanics, man, it's tough. But <laughs> I'm telling you, it just feels really authentic when you're doing it, though. The timing, like it, the microseconds, every microsecond counts. How did you set up? Because you can always customize which way you want to do your batting. How did you have your bat batting so mechanics actually, set up? I tried both. Okay. I tried classic, yep. and then I tried uh, directional. Sure. And I just stuck to classic. <laughs> I'm a classic guy. Okay. Through and through. I've been doing this just for nice years. Just square and X. Just, yeah, square and X. Get my timing right. But even at the beginning, though, know, I struggled. Being off for a year now, coming back into the game, I was like, whew, my timing was off. And then today, six for six. So oh, my timing is back. <laughs> so you start to feel that groove, and you go, man, there's a fastball. And the minute I swung and missed the next one, ooh, nailed me with the changeup. So before, I'm, eat, like, I'm starting now to pick up on what pitchers are coming in. There comes a slide and it curls right into me, right? I'm like, okay, wait a little bit longer because it's a bit slower to get into you because that fastball is a lot quicker. Oh, yeah, man. So let's talk about the game mode, be a pro, because I'm pretty sure that's your or career mode, whatever. The road to the show, Thank I think, you. is that's, what you're yeah. looking for there. That's what I'm to say. Road to the show is where this game absolutely shines. There are multiple yes. game modes in here. There are so many, and they brought in March to October, this whole new charge where you're able to jump in, play a couple innings, get the game over with, and start building your team from the beginning of the season all the way to the end. That's cool, right? But I just want to play Road to the Show every time. Like, I've played the play your nine innings, and those are long game modes, but they're oh, yeah. fun, but they're long, and they take a long time. So the whole March to October new mode allows you to get in, get out, and get your game mode done, but it's Road to the Show, like you say. So what do you think about that Road to the Show? So... Uh, it's really cool, man. They have a lot of cool mechanics as oh, far so as much. just as soon as you start in it, you're just having a conversation with another teammate. And I was just, oh, you actually get to pick dialogue. Yes. And it seems like, or not it seems, it, it actually affects things when you, you know, choose certain dialogue. So perks are new this year to Road to the Show. They've always had Road to the Show where you basically customize your player and work your way up through the ranks. Being going from AAA to AA and all the way into the majors, right? So you want to do that. You focus on one character, and then you only play as that character. You don't play the entire team. You play as that character. But perks now allow you to have different stats and conversations with people. And this is kind of like, it's almost like an RPG. But they took out this year the ability to spend my points where I see fit. So before, you would be able to go, okay, I'm gonna I got this many for playing this game. I'm going to spend my points on upgrading my power for right-handed hitters. And they got rid of Right-handed pitchers. They did. So now the way it works is when your game finishes on how well you do is based on how much reward you get on your progression. And they've implemented now icons, which I kind of appreciate. It's small little touches, but it's the little touches that make the game shine so much. So now instead of having power of right-handed hitter, you'll have power with like a bat and a ball icon and a couple other little things throughout the game. And then when you're up playing your own character there, your, your player for the game, they actually give you challenges while you're playing too. 
so then you can have a chance to upgrade. If you get the reward for the challenge, they'll have three different tiers, two different tiers, depending on what the challenge is, and you get a percentage based off of if you succeed on that challenge. Very cool. It's very in-depth, man. This is crazy. Yeah, they've really taken this to a whole other level now. But again, going back to the RPG system, this is RPG for baseball, which is awesome. So you have so much time to invest in this game. I have to ask you, though, what... what Position did you pick? Oh man, I'm shortstop. Okay, that's that's what I picked. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can, man, I'm turning double plays. I'm fumbling the ball too, which they've really enhanced a little bit this year. Is the ability now, if your timing is off, you will drop that ball, you'll kick that ball, you'll fumble that ball around. So it's not as forgiving, right? You struggled a little bit to get started. <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. But I've finally gotten through you know, getting the timing down and yep. everything, and. It's it's this game's awesome, man. I can't stop playing it. It's really addictive. That's why I said you can go back, you can go online, you can go in conquest mode and all these other modes. And I've played a ton of these modes. I've played a ton of MLB the show over the years. <laughs> so each year they come out with something new, like this March to the October road thing, and then the road to the show is improved upon each and every year. And that's where it really shines for me as a fan who comes back to the series each and every year. So what you're saying is this is definitely an improvement from last year? Yeah, so a lot of people go, okay, you know what, it's a new game, but how different is it from last year? And there's a bunch of different improvements, like the road to the show and how you're able to, well, you know what, it's the customization options that are in the road to the show. Like, even the little things now, where if I hit a home run, you can always do the home run and how you hit the home run and it's like a walk-off. And they'll, like, so my character cranks that ball, right? Puts it back, boom, sets it right on the plate, and then walks around. <laughs> and that's how it was. But this year, now they've added in actual animations as I carry around the diamond, right? So as I hit from base to base, and I round third, I got Tilo, a Jays fan, right? So Tilo's got this animation where he swings his arm around and slaps, high fives, but it's low, right? So I got that on there. Oh, so, sweet. and I'm entered, and then I've got music for when I hit home runs. I got music for when I walk up. The guys announced <sighs> my last name is not in this game. Uh, no, Bosale is not in there, oh, man. So I loved it. I get my, Drew. My name came up right away. Oh, of course it did. <laughs> I get Drew Andrews. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I found some other one. It said Drew Below, and then so then the one announcer says Below, and then the other one it Drew. Below, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, this is so make Come on, yeah, you guys get that in there somehow. Maybe, maybe, maybe next year. So one thing I've noticed about this game, Drew, is that compared to all the other sport games, in my opinion, it seems like they actually really put an effort and change things, and add things, and add features. Yes, you know, you play NHL, it's. Doesn't seem like they do much for that price that you pay, but with MLB The Show, it really seems like you get what you pay for. Yeah, San Diego Studios is a really great studio. They pay attention, they listen to the fans, and introduce new little features and new little, just small touches each and every year that want you to come back and go, man, I want that feature now. And oh, look at this feature now. And then, like every year, they'll list off, here, there's this feature, this feature, this feature. <laughs> and they'll go through it, like they'll rhyme off a whole list. But the thing that uh, San Diego Studios is able to do because all they do really is MLB The Show. So now MLB The Show is done. Kind of, right? They're still going to work on tweaking whatever, but they're already working on next year's game. Yeah. So they're able to spend the time and work on concentrating to get everything else polished and then up it again with new features because every year they'll make a list of features, but they're not going to get everything that they want into this year's game. So they'll save those and put them into next year's game. Oh, that's really cool. And speaking of polish, this game graphically yeah. is probably it's the best looking sports game there is. Oh, this is fantastic. My character looks like me. He's got my beard. My hair is like a little pointed up, right? And it's, <laughs> it's so cool. It is. It feels like it's me. I just wish my character would speak. Like I'm able to pick all the text and stuff and make all the decisions. But I want that extra level. And the announcer that kind of walks you through all those choices is a little dull, dry. right? He's very dry. <laughs> so he's uh. He went over here and he talked to this guy and the pitcher says this and now he's going to go over here. I'm like, man, you are boring to listen to. That's my only downfall of this game. Hopefully, maybe next year or a couple years from now, we might actually get a voice with the character because like we've said in previous reviews and everything, that is that can really make a game you know, stand out when your character actually talks. Well, exactly. <laughs> and they already have the dialogue, so it's not like they're making it up on the fly, right? The dialogue is there. So then have the voice actor come in, read off the dialogue options, and then when I select my dialogue, then have my character speak. It's just, it's not that complicated. Yeah. 
All right, Nate, this is going to wrap up this review of MLB The Show 19 from San Diego Studios. I think you're hooked now. What do you score on this one? I'm absolutely hooked, man. This game is awesome. It's beautiful. The storyline is great. And, yeah, I'm in. 8.5 for me, man. Nice. Again, back again. These guys are a solid studio bringing us another solid game. I'm there with a 9. MLB The Show this year has brought some great new mechanics and continues to be the best baseball game franchise to date. Beautiful and improved graphics really add value to the also improved customization to the game. Adding a new game mode to the already huge list of modes on top of everything previously mentioned shows how much the creators really care about the fans. The 1-1. Grounded down the third baseline. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. 